If you want to master the push-up exercise, if you want to be a master in push-ups, if you want to be a king of push-ups, if you want to do more push-ups easily, if you want to become stronger and build muscles just with push-ups, without getting injuries, you are in the right place. Hi, this is Dr. Ishaq, and if this is your first time watching my videos or visiting my channel, don't hesitate to click the subscribe button for more tips and tricks about exercise, health, physical therapy, diet, and everything related to fitness. So, before watching this video, you have to watch the previous videos because I mentioned in those videos the most hidden secret of push-ups. The first one is about how to get your first push-up easily. And the second one is about how to fix and how to position your upper body. And the third one is about how to fix and how to position your middle body and your lower body. And you can find them organized in this playlist or simply you can click in the links in the description below. And when you've done, you can see this video. So let's begin. Before we start, tell me in the comment section how many reps of push-ups you can do in a row. So if you simply use your body weight for push-ups, with time you will find them quite simpler and easier. As a result, when you do them, you're more likely to get as many push-ups in as quickly as possible or at a fairly rapid pace. If you're doing it for a performance test or physical condition exam, such as military or police, okay, go ahead and do it. However, if you do push-ups as a piece of your workout regime in your daily basis, and if you want to get enough of muscle, you won't get enough of advantages for these reasons. I know the majority of people will disagree and dispute with me at this point because they may have a different point of view than mine. So I try to give you and show you what science said, then I give you my point of view. A research that looked at multiple angles of push-ups highlights this factor, that the chest activation was higher, as well as triceps and posterior delt activation, which were considerably higher. When the piece of push-ups decreased from 1.5 seconds to 2 seconds each push-up, and the most activation was obtained by pushing up to 2.5 seconds each push-up. In fact, the alarming thing is doing push-ups with rapid rhythm resulted in 135 more loud and 163% higher stress in your elbow joints. And this is a huge worry if you are performing a lot of push-ups during the week. With time, this might put too much of unnecessary strain in the elbow's joint and create discomfort. This is what science said, and now I'm gonna give my point of view. So when the wind push-ups quickly, you'll destroy the proper form of exercise. You'll arch your spine either up or down, and definitely you'll arch it down, because it makes the exercise easier and helps you to cheat. And of course, you'll kill the range of motion and be sure you'll move your neck frequently by looking forward and up, forward and up, forward and up. So what's the solution? Okay, okay, be patient, I'll give you the solution. So when push-ups becomes more easier for you, instead of attempting to cram as many as possible into a short amount of time, slow it down to at least 2.5 seconds it's push-up or even 3, or 3.5, or 5 seconds, why not? If you're looking for a little more challenge, this game is for you. As you develop stronger, you'll be able to stress and build your target muscles more while putting less stress in your elbows joints. So according to this study, this is a good strategy to use if you want a finest outcome with a list of harm and danger. When this gets easier for you, you may hold for one or two seconds in the bottom position. And if you make three seconds, it's wonderful. I use this method with my athletes. This will allow you to put more stress on the target muscles, leading to increased growth for the same amount of reps. And this is a type of progressive overload. Actually, progressive overload, as I mentioned in this video, means that your workout becomes increasingly difficult with time goes on to make it more difficult and harder. And the easiest way to apply progressive overload in your workout schedule, you add either sets or reps. 
you can add one rep for the number of repetitions that you do. For example, if you do 10 push ups for each set, you can make them 11 reps for each set. Or you can add one set. So if you can do three sets of eight push ups, you can make them four or five sets. You have to know reason the overall stimulation applied to your upper body offers those pushing muscles a cause to continue to develop and become stronger. That's why you would also include some of the difficult variant push ups in your workout schedule, since they will help you to develop your maximum pushing strength. So, raising your foot for push ups is an easy technique to achieve this. As a result, a large portion from your body weight will be moved to your upper body, rendering the exercise very challenging to do it efficiently. Do you remember the study that we mentioned it in the previous video? That study revealed that raises in your feet 60.96 cm above the floor will increase the resistance from 64% to 74%. So you'll add 10% of resistance to your body. In addition to changes, resistance bands, it could be also used to overload your muscles. And you can use them the same you use the bench press. In the bench press, you add more weight. And in the band resistance, you add the thickness and you increase the thickness of the bands. However, after you've established a solid base on push-ups, adding resistance bands to your training regime is vital. This is due to the fact that it enables you to overload in the activity, resulted in increased upper body strength and also rendering the, your regular push-ups much easier and simpler because the bands will make it increasingly difficult as you force yourself up while maintaining a consistent degree of effort during the full range of motion. And you may also place a weight on your upper back or carry a pack back full of weights and gradually increase the weight. Or you can wear a weighted vest or you may use your friend. However, if all those options are impossible for you, try to lift your feet as we mentioned in the previous. Or you may shift your body to one arm also, you can do one or two reps of one arm push up during the week. Another key suggestion is to perform more push ups. Keep in mind that push ups is like any other exercise, it takes time. Yeah, I mean it. Don't expect to master the push up exercise in an overnight. This is why I recommend performing push ups frequently and regular basis, because this improves neuromuscular performance for this exercise, which itself is essential for building strength. Do you know how much time the golfer swings his arms for each session? More than 100 times. Why? To enhance his neuromuscular performance. And the good feature in push-ups, that it can be done at any place, at any time you want without any additional equipment. So performing them three or four times a week will help you to progress quickly than doing them once a week. The last one is my key, which is consistency and commitment. You have to be a gritty person. Even if you slap your face on the floor, you have to get up and do it again and again and again. And of course, you have to have a goal. And this goal should be conspicuous, clear, measurable, attainable, and achievable. And you should to have a plan and stick to it and give yourself time to reach it. And you have to believe in yourself that you can do it. Whatever it takes, you can do it. That's it for today. And I hope those videos that I made about push ups will help you to do more push ups easily and will help you to increase the amount number of push ups that you can do without getting exhausted and will help you to become more stronger and build more muscle. Be sure if you apply those tips and tweaks that I mentioned in all those videos, you will be thrilled about the result. And guys, before you go, if you see the content of this video useful for you, try to click in the red subscribe button followed by the bell icon to make sure that you never miss a bit. Of God willing, I'll see you in the next video.